All right. Hi guys, how are you? Hey. Uh, good afternoon. As you can see, uh, the vehicle is uh, ready and to go, and it's not sitting there anymore. <laughs> it's white and it's rapid. I did it myself uh, with my best abilities, and I think it came out uh, pretty good. There are still still few spots where maybe I have to. Uh, correct something, but overall I'm happy uh, with it. Uh, which material I was using? This is a tech wrap, uh, white chameleon, per, white pearl, or pearl white chameleon with the blue reflex underneath. It's very, very glossy. It came with a plastic liner on the out, on the inside. It has the plastic uh, protection on the outside, so a very uh, I'm considering a very good one. Um, how the installation went? Well, uh, very, 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 very good material. In my opinion, this material referred to the other one, the the axis that I used for the CRX, is way more uh, dynamic. What I mean is that uh, is more elastic. Uh, is very responsive to the heat sources. I'm not using the heat gun very often, but when I did it, because sometimes you have to, became absolutely memoryless. Everything uh, worked the right proper uh, in the proper uh, way. Very very glossy, and the down the downside of it is that you have to, when you finish to layer, you have to heat them up. To a certain temperature and to have the adhesive doing this job but for the rest is absolutely amazing a little bit more expensive than the one that i use for the crx but i can't complain the results uh, in my opinion is very good uh, well only endurance in time will uh, give us the right answer when you know winter is gonna pass summer is gonna pass Etc. Etc. But for now, uh, it's good. These are probably already three weeks that I have it uh, on the vehicle, and nothing happened. Nothing at all. We'll see. We'll give it a try. And this is the first thing that I want to share. So tech wrap. Eh? Sorry, good deal. Number two, the engine. Uh, the engine is finally completed, and it has a lot of upgrade from the stock RB20 DET that come with the vehicle. It was in a uh, health condition. The RB20, I rebuilt it not because it was damaged, it was in a healthy condition. It means it has a good compression ratio, it has everything in the right place, but the uh, miles of the kilometer mark was over 180,000, 180,000 kilometers, so maybe 110 or something uh, thousand miles. And I decided now that the parts are still available to give it a try and rebuild the engine down from the bare block back up. It's done. He it has as an upgrade uh, 256 Pome, uh, 256, <laughs> that's, that's bad. 256 uh, Palm Cam from Tome. He okay? has uh, the Tome Sprints for a high lift inside. Even if they are not required, it doesn't matter, I just throw those old springs away and pick those ones. It seems like they have a nice frequency, so you can rev a little higher, plus the lift, that is an option in case you need it for the future. And it has a Nissan N1 pump. I know everybody's against it, I'm not. I just put it on it. And it has an ISR, uh, full downpipe, high performance downpipe, and a Mastiga Rod uh, Turbo. For the RB2025, I think is also for the RB26. Hmm. Uh, the car is running a 15, sorry, a 15 psi of boost. So I set up a 15. The turbocharger cannot make it because uh, the Westgate maximum uh, are set up at 7 fully open, 7 psi. So you have one of those little, you know, a manual boost control. But for the rest, is doing its job uh, properly. Um, one more thing, when you apply the turbo or when you change the turbocharger, 
uh, you have to replace the oil feed line that is a metal it's a bolt-on it's very quick it has a few other things but you have to replace that because the restriction on the tube itself is restricted internally doesn't guarantee the turbo to run hey, I told you for experience because I have that one in it has problem boosting and stuff like that and before it's too late I replace with a mamba then you have you know no restriction because I use my own fittings anyway and now he's responsive and he's doing his job. So keep, keep that in mind. A max feeding rod turbo is a little bigger. It's running a 15 PSI. He need uh, the oil feed that then he has to be unrestricted huh? because the original one is not good enough and you need a little boost control because the, well, the standard wastegate is running a 7 PSI. I don't like it. Over that, how the car goes? Well. Uh, I have to say that the ECU is the stock one and open a little parenthesis you know I was ready uh, here and here to approach something else it means to go maybe with an Eastern Piggy uh, whatever it's called an Eastern upgrade for the stock ECU or buy a link ECU and do you know all the things of the cases I don't need it not here so I start to ask myself I say, well there is something wrong the AFR is good the MAF is not, uh, the ultra sensor, the MAF is not max out, the injector, duty cycle, base it on the laptop, then I have for read the ECU, signals are good. What's going on? I'm running a 15 PSI. What's going on? When I see a lot of reviews, then sooner or later, after 12 or 13, you max out here, you max out there. So there is something that is not right here. So I have my own personal answer. I try to answer myself. I said, okay, it's about efficiency. To, long, to keep it simple, efficiency is okay, I give you three apple and you give me back two because one is gone somewhere. Mm -hmm. If I have an RB20, that's my top. I don't pretend to be right, that's just my thing. If I have an RB20 stock uh, in a healthy conditions, 30 years old, like a compression test, everything you want, and then I put certain volume of air, certain volume of gas inside. If the efficiency is low because the internal have somehow something that is not right, it's not returning me the power that I want, so I have to go up and then I start to max out things so I can see that. In here, not because me, but because the process that I went to, I strongly recommend it. Everything got taken care to the max of my ability. All the gap, the rings, you know what I mean? The head, the valve, seats. And everything the process are online you can check it on my youtube channel telling you how to ID the valves and everything else so this guy is the closest you can get to the stock factory to conditions i'm convinced that having an increase in oil flow ta -ta 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 -ta, is increasing also the efficiency and the overall efficiency of the engine just a few points it doesn't matter it's proven i'm running a 15 i'm not maxing out everything and this guy is taking off hard he goes. I'm not just saying, oh, he goes. No, no, this thing is going. He goes. It's, I want to say that he goes at least 25% faster, 30% faster than before. Easy. I don't know the power. I don't know the torque. I don't. I'm telling you, before I got the feeling on my gut to go in that way, now he goes 25, at least 30% more, at least. Sure. It's a street application, a road application, a street. I'm not drifting or dragging, so probably or flooring all the time and having the tuning completely floored to take off as soon as possible. I got that. Those guys out there are doing an amazing job. I like drifting too, don't hang me wrong, drag, I like it, but it's not for me. It's not for this, it's not for what I'm doing. So, whenever I have here, then is a street or a road application, it's okay, I'm turning the car, it's idling. I'm driving it around, it goes. When I push, if I'm a little patient and I just follow the engine a little bit, this guy at 4000 RPM is taking off in any gear. And it go boost a 15 PSI, fly off. If that is what you need, with way more aggressively than before, this is what you have. Okay? So, it's a positive video, I think. It's not critical about anything. I try to save uh, headache. Uh, and try to help whoever has a vehicle like that to achieve, you know, the level of happiness that I have. I'm very happy.
stock ECU, again, stock injector, stock map, a 15 degree uh, ignition timing setup by factory detaching, you know how, right? <clears throat> Sorry. The turbo is a little bit more laggy. The engine is a little laggy. I refer to the previous one. This turbocharger is slightly laggy than the other one. Laggy how much? 1000 RPM, that's it. If before I have a full boost at 3000, here you have to be a little patient. You're gonna have it at 4500, but when you reach 4500 or 4000, for, these things is gone. Not even close to what you have before. It's just gone. It doesn't max out anything. It's just keep going up. I'm not going on red line and try to hit the limiter. I don't need it. When it's 6,000 RPM, 6,500, where you want to go? That's me. It's already there. It's all power, so I change the gear. It is a little laggy. When you start to go in third gear, and then you put fourth gear, and fifth gear is still there, you keep going. You know, depending on what kind of use you have to do, AI respect everybody. So this is everything I have. Oh, one more thing. Sorry about that. The clutch for the air conditioning. The class for the air conditioning is a pain in the butt for many of us that buy vehicles like this because many times they they came with the uh, AC, the class for the AC that is burned. I mean, the coil is shot. $12, okay? If you are in $12, I replace it. I buy a class that is available, largely available on eBay with a little correction, a little touch uh, of uh, work than is described in the, in the video. Uh, answers. I don't have it in the beginning. I got the answer for a gentleman. They asked me the question. Sorry. You can have it running. My one is running at 3.5 amps. Solid. It's cold. I did not detach the hoses. Okay. I just did the job on the clutch itself. And I have sure to modify, make sure certain things. Then I told the gentleman so everybody can read it. It's good to go. It's burning. It. Who cares? A 13 box plus my label is clear. I replace it with another one. I hope this is going to help you. I hope these information are very precious for whenever you guys want to do. And then thinking about it, I think it's more convenient taking your time, removing the head, and if you have the uh, sources clear, and taking a particular, pay particular attention at the seal of the valves, sealing of the valve, and uh, all the things around your ring. Don't just put extras. Don't put extras. Do the right thing and put the minimum that you can get inside and obtain the maximum out. That's the philosophy. It's up to you. Eh? Um, anyway, thank you for looking the video until the end. I know it's a long video. I know that whoever is looking at my video uh, appreciate it, eh? especially for the gearboxes and whatever else, the clutch. We'll see. Eh? Thank you again.